Good afternoon, fragrance community. Time for another fragrance review. This time we're going to be reviewing Dior Homme Sport 2008. And this is the original Dior Homme Sport release. It was created by Francois Dimashi. And I would classify it probably as a woody aromatic, as it's shown on um, Fragrantica. This is probably one of the very few sport fragrances that's worth your money. And this one's getting more expensive by the day to find on either eBay or if you're lucky to find it on a discounter. It's really different. And it's, it's one of the sport fragrances that really lasts um, as it should. You know, most of the sport fragrances now last between you know, four and six hours if you're lucky. Mostly more toward the four hour mark. This one goes on, smells good from the start, and smells good all the way until the very end, maybe eight hours later, which is rare for a summer scent today. What makes this one different from the current formula, to me, is the use of sandalwood in the base. So, once this goes on your skin to start, you're going to get hit with a blast of lemon and a really nicely done grapefruit. doesn't smell scratchy, and there's a little bit of resinous to it, as if the sandalwood is kind of peeking its head through at the very start. And you could probably attribute that to some sort of uh, resin material in the opening and in the mid Eventually that lemon gets paired with a really awesome ginger note. It's it's zesty, it's shaven, it's very fresh as if it's it's just been put through a, a mandolin on a cutting board. Um, there's a, a little bit of uh, floral in there and that, that very well could be um, lavender. There's a little, little tiny bit of that floral lavender in there, but not, not a whole lot. And the ginger never really goes away in this. You know, the, the lemon goes away a little bit. Uh, it still stays pretty bright, but the ginger is pretty prominent throughout. And eventually that ginger, it marries itself to a really nicely done, smooth sandalwood note. Now, th this doesn't smell like... Uh, a synthetic sandalwood in a cheap fragrance. It smells very smooth, very creamy, very well done. And once you begin to detect the sandalwood, you'll pick up on a little bit of a, a spicy, um, very dry smelling rosemary note. And that may sound a little um, unappealing, but the rosemary and the edge that it gives really offers this fragrance a, a, a unique spiciness in the base. So that that woody spicy base is always there and you get a really nice ginger rend rendition. I would I would say this is probably my favorite ginger fragrance along with Cartier's Declaration Cologne, which is a, a little bit different take. Um like I said, this this lasts on my skin eight hours consistently. It doesn't matter if I wear it in the cooler months in the fall, if I wear it in the summertime, it's it's reliably going to last eight hours. It smells fantastic. It's very easy to like, very easy to wear. You could, you could wear it to work. I mean, depending upon your work situation, I, I wouldn't go dressing in a suit and a tie and wear this probably. It probably would be a little too... Uh, casual smelling for that, but you know, if you had a summer wedding to go to and it was, you know, khakis and uh, you know, a button-up, you know, short sleeve dress shirt, I would say this would definitely fit the bill for that formal occasion. But mostly, this is a casual scent, casual encounters. You know, going out to eat on a, a Saturday night, at, you know, a burger joint or something would be, you know, probably fit this right in. Now, there are a lot of fakes of this fragrance out there 
and really, uh, you know, I think there's a video out there showing the difference between a, a fake and uh, a legitimate uh, Diorum Sport 2008. And really, the the main the main feature of the fakes is the bottom of the bottle is not etched. It's it's printed on in white, and the atomizer uh, little the little red ring that you see there, a little red circle, it's actually indented into uh, the spray top. So the, the legitimate bottles have a, a flush spray top and the the batch code information and the manufacturer information is is all uh, etched in on, on legitimate bottles. So be, be careful if you go out and, and try to buy this one. Um, there are quite a few fakes out there and it wouldn't surprise me if now that the, the stock is completely dried out or been getting really close that you know it's it's increasingly uh, evident that there's many more fakes out there so um, let me know if you've you've tried this one out I'm a big fan of it it's definitely in my you know top five summer scents uh, it's 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 really one of a kind and you know it's going to be really difficult to replace this because I, I I don't see anything else out there right now that even comes close so uh, comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you for the next review.